Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ariel Monique, and I'm back today with another video. As you can see, this is going to be a voiceover for the e.l.f. concealer. This is going to be a review for that product. I would like to say that I previously recorded this video, but I did not like the video, and also I ended up enjoying the product, so I wanted to re-record the video. I didn't want to put out any false information. Yeah, so as you can see, I am putting on my primer, and I'm going to go in, brush my eyebrows out, and start to apply my foundation all products will be listed below I decided to do this video as a voiceover because I didn't want it to be too long and I wanted to take my time and do my makeup this day and I really wasn't in the mood to do a whole bunch of talking so I'm doing the voiceover now I hope you guys enjoy it And back to the concealer. The concealer that I am using in today's video is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut. I got this concealer from my local Target. As you all know, you can find any e.l.f. products literally anywhere now. They're in Target, Walmart, Walgreens, everywhere you want to look. But here is the concealer and um, it comes off in a nice little thick brush. Um, the brush is kind of thick so you don't really need to apply a lot. And again, this is matte concealer so... When I applied it, I really wanted to go in and um, do it pretty fast because I didn't want the first time I used this product, I felt like maybe I moved too slow with blending the concealer in. And I feel like it got a little hard. So um, even with using a damp beauty blender. So make sure your beauty blender is damp to make sure that blends in great with your skin. And when you apply your setting powder, everything will blend in perfectly. As you can see, I'm, I'm repeatedly going over my concealer to make sure that it is nice and in place. I don't want to be all white underneath the eye, you know, want to keep it light, want to keep it natural. As you all know, I like a, ni a nice natural makeup look. However, this concealer is so bomb. I really love this concealer and that's why I really wanted to do this video over because the first time I did the video, I did not like the concealer. So I had to give it a few more tries, wear it a few more times. And I am now sold. I do have their other concealer, the other e.l.f. concealer. It's not the 16 hour. I believe it's the satin. I haven't used it yet, so maybe I'll use it next time with you guys and see how I like that product as well. So, I've been using my setting powder with a brush first and then going in and using my beauty blender for some reason. I just love the way it looks when I do that. I don't know. Um... I've learned that from a another YouTuber, Arnell Armand. I freaking love her. She's so great with her makeup. Don't spill it, girl. Pull your hair back. Get it together. Now going into contour. I don't do a lot of this because I naturally have like a contour line on my face. So I just go in lightly and apply that. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I'm doing my makeup in a completely different order this time. Like, as you see, I don't have any eyebrows on. That's usually the first thing that I do. So I'm just going, I'm just playing around and learning new ways to do my makeup in different orders to see if the outcome becomes greater, if you know what I mean. And we are back with the Juvia's Place palette. If you have not seen my review on this palette, please make sure you go ahead and watch that. I will link that in this video as well. 
Um, I am not the best with eyeshadow. I say this every time I do eyeshadow. I am learning. I am learning. So while we're on this lockdown, that's pretty much what I'll be doing since I literally have nothing else to do but playing makeup and get better. So that's the goal. And when we done with this, I'm going to come out even better and I'm going to shit on you hoes. And that's on period. <laughs> Okay, girl, I see you trying to get a little color in there, a little a little red, a little, a little maroon going on up there on the eye. You're trying, you're trying. Something other than brown nude. You got this. Hold out. Don't change the color. You got it. Keep going. So as you can see, I am going in with my tan color. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And then I'm going to go back in and go over it on my lid with the reddish maroonish color from the Juvia's Place palette. And this is one of the reasons why I like to do my eyeshadow and eyebrows first because when you're applying your eyeshadow, some can dust off into your under your eyes and get all over your makeup and you don't want that to ruin your makeup. So that is one reason why I also like to do my eyeshadow first. But as I said, I am just trying new techniques and learning new ways to do my makeup in different orders to see what, to see what works best for me. And I clearly think that doing my eyeshadow first is best. Especially if you're going to go in with color. Okay, y'all tell me what y'all thinking so far. Is it a hit or a miss? Is it a yay or nay? Am I doing okay? Is this horrible? Let me know if this is horrible in the comments. Like, let me know how I'm doing so far on my eyeshadow. This is the one thing I never do on camera is my eyeliner because I always look so crazy doing it. But I didn't realize that the camera was still really recording. So I'm just going to put this in here anyway and let you guys know how I do my eyeliner. This is literally the favorite thing about my makeup. If I don't have on lashes, I for sure got on eyeliner at all times. All times, ladies. Okay, and yes, I draw fake moles, so what? I don't care, I love them. It's not 1990, but I'm gonna draw them fake moles every day. This is my favorite buttercream NYX lip gloss I wear all the time. I will leave the shade in the description below. For a minute I thought I was done here and then I realized that I do not have on any lashes. So I was literally ending my video but I wasn't done. So this is the full face minus the lashes and the eyeliner underneath the eyes. So um, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do that and then you'll see the final look. But before I go in and do the eyelashes and eyeliner, I would like to rate this product. This e.l.f. 16 hour camo matte concealer on a scale of 1 to 10, I would definitely rate this concealer maybe a 7. 7. 7 isn't bad. Um, so I'm going to review the other concealer as well. Maybe that might get a higher one. I don't know, but I do love this for a natural no makeup look this is something that I wear for that so I love it for that reason also
Now that I'm popping that last lash on, that is everything. So this will be a completed look. Um, I've never put my eyelashes on on camera either, so that's something new as well. But I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I have no idea why my camera is zoomed in at this moment either but however I love it um you can really see my makeup you can see what my hair is giving pretty much laid honey and that's period but this is the final look I hope you like it make sure you tell me what you guys think in the comments below make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Ariel Monique and subscribe to this channel once again tell a friend to tell a friend because I'm getting my thousand subscribers by the summertime and that's on that period See y'all in the next video. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Love you all. Bye.